This is how we roll. Uh, <laughs> guys, Jugo, let's talk about the layout of the game. So each player is dealt seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus an escape card. The escape card at the start, each player, whether you're playing two to four players, everyone gets an escape card each to start. This does not count towards the total of your cards. But once you have played your escape card, it is burned, is no longer in play. And any escape cards that you subsequently pick up from the deck count towards your card total. So you can discard a maximum of four cards and you may also play a maximum of four cards in sequence. Let's have a play. So we open play with a guard, a sweep, a control, and a sub. So now, player one is attacking player two. Player one rolls, three. Player two counters, two. Oh, this card is now burned and out of play. It is now player two's turn. So from here, player two plays a takedown. Shoots the double. Then comes through, wrecking ball pass. From there, takes control. From here, plays a sub. Now, player two is attacking player one. Player one plays their escape. Player two rolls, three, not so strong. Player one counters, five, stronger. In this instance, player one retains the escape and is now escaped. Now, before anything happens, player one gets to pick up four new cards to make up their seven cards. We're now at a neutral position. So, as a sequence, play a takedown, a pass, good old stack pass. Woo, breaking that spine. And then, from there, get a knee ride into a clock choke. Now, at this point in time, player two has no escapes. Player one is attacking, one, Whew, that's a pretty weak clock choke. Rolls a five, player two is still in the game. So now it is player two's turn. They only have three cards, so they can pick up four. Now, it is actually not an advantage to have doubles of any card. So, in Jugo, you need to discard before you pick up. So, from here, the strategy for player two would be to discard some sweeps. But, as they've already picked up, they can't discard. So now, from here, the, if you look at the sequence, they have a takedown, they have a pass, but they have no consolidation cards, and they also have no subs. They don't have any guard cards, therefore they can't really play a sweep. But if they want to initiate play to score points, they can play a takedown, and they can play a pass, but they're gonna to have to leave it there. So now it is on player one to counter. Now, when we look at these cards, you cannot play warm colors against warm colors. You must play 
cool colors against warm colors. Because player one has no cool colors, they forfeit their turn, and it's now player two's turn. Now player two has a lot of sweeps. So a good strategy is for player two to discard and now pick up four new cards. So now, a lot more cool cards. From here, player two can play a guard and a sweep into a submission, or a scramble into a sweep, into a submission. There's a variety of choices, but let's keep it pretty traditional. So we'll play a guard. We're re-guarding against the pass. From here, we initiate sweep to get the points, and then from there, we're going for the submission. So now, player two is rolling against player one's escape. Three. Player, player one is very fortunate today keeping their escape. So now, player one is back in the game. So there is too many of the same card here. Discard your doubles or triples and try and get a more even spread. Hmm. Okay, from here, best strategy, take down, pass, control, and sub. Ooh, anaconda choke, strangle y'all. Now, Player two has no escapes. Player one is now attacking player two for their life. And <laughs> that's a weak roll. Let's find out. Player two counters. Oh, game over, Jugo. Player one wins, player two is gone. 